Hey guys, welcome back. Hopefully today I'll be able to entertain you. Uh, today I'm gonna to be working on my engine cross member. Uh, I need to sand that and put a coating on it so I can put it back on the front end for support so I can start working on the radiator support and other parts of the firewall. But first, I think I need to clean my shop. Uh, I've seen from my other videos, it's kind of a wreck. So I'm gonna do a quick little cleanup and we'll get right on it. All right, guys, well, I got the shop clean. It's actually been a few days afterwards because it's been raining nonstop. And I wanted to work on my engine cross member outside and sand it. Since I have a nice clean shop, I really don't want to get it dirty. So I've been putting that off actually three days now. So I am behind on a lot of things I want to get done. Uh, I'm not going to do that today. So I'm going to go ahead and start working on the engine bay and I'll just be a more pain in the butt to work around the support brackets but that'll work so um let's go then take a look at that well it's not raining hard out it's just a drizzle but we're going ahead and keep working on this part anyway so um let's take a look at the shock towers this is the rusty part that i cut out it has multiple layers already placed this on the other side so all i gotta do is actually just weld a piece in here uh to help cut uh, strengthen it and support it. So that's actually gonna be pretty easy to do. I also have to do the same thing on this side I mean, I see some big rustles in it So let's gotta do this exact scene over there and that will cover that Then I do need to weld two of these holes up uh, this car some the person had before me Added uh, AC to it. So they drilled these out I'm in Ohio, it's not going to need AC. So I'm going to go ahead and fill those in. Then I want to go ahead and go ahead and strip probably the engine bay and get it primed. Um, so we'll start with there and just work our way and see how much we can get done. I'm going to go ahead and put a flange in the top part here, sinking it inward. So, let me show you up close. This, I'm going to have it be able to slide right underneath it. So, I'm going to belt weld it up against this edge. This is going to be a flange weld up here. Now, I have to cut down into it a little bit, make sure it slides up. So, it should give me the right amount of proper depth I need. And then, this, I'm going to have to bend in a slightly to match this curve line right here so i think it'll be okay then i'm gonna go ahead and punch holes for spot welding down at the bottom let's get on it That ended up taking a lot longer than I thought it was going to. My lovely flange tool um, stopped working. It went closed completely. I took the thing apart, put it back together, oiled it, and none. So I ended up having cast the flange here. It's going to go up a little bit higher. I had to flange it all by hand, and that took a while because I don't have a flange die. I do have one for the bead roller, but I don't have the bead roller up and running yet. So I'll just have to do that to finish this off. But it turned out pretty good. Do got to work right in here a little bit, a little deeper wise to match up right there and weld. 
but all well, I'm actually pretty happy with it. So I'm just gonna keep working on that. Then now have to drill since the flange ain't working either to put holes in it for plug welding. I'll have to do all that by hand now. So taking a lot more time than I wanted to, but it's gotta be done. All right, I think I did the best I could for it. I think it worked really well. Not pretty, but once it's in there, I can see this bit apart and be rolling it up. I'll be able to go back in and hand it, hammer it out and smooth it out. The back side, I'm gonna spray on some well through primer because I'll never see it daylight again. So I wanna make sure it's nice and protected. So no surface rust or anything starts to form in it. So I went and ground the back down and well through primer and spray it up. Okay, gonna let that dry. Now I need to wipe down the front end. Shouldn't have to spray any well through primer on that. I already had the backside primer to it. This right here. And I've tried before welding through, weld through primer. It's not the best. So we're just gonna do a good clean it up, get ready to uh, weld it in. Oh, I should mention, I did weld uh, three holes to do the plug welding to hold it into place to give a nice tight fit. Then we'll all seam seal it then uh, across the top. I didn't think just plug welding the whole thing would look that good. And you see that uh, line through it. This way we'll be able to see the line. So that's my plan. Right, I'm giving up for the night. It's not turning out the way I want to. It's getting dark, not good light in my garage. It's been raining nonstop. Like I said earlier, welds look like crap. Um, I need to go in there and grind it down. It's probably this angle to them at that I can't get good enough welds. I have this bar right here in my way, I'm trying to reach over. Not pretty, I mean, it's solid, but we gotta go in and still tack, 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 tack. And that's just time consuming. So, we'll get done, I promise you that. And then I will probably finish that side. I don't know if I'll show you guys when I do the other side. It's pretty much the exact same thing. Uh, it's actually, that one's a little bit more complicated onto it. Um, so, thank you for watching. I'll keep you guys up to date. Um, my goal is to at least come out with a video once a week. So if you do like what you're seeing, me trying to learn my way through this rusty mess, please give me a, a like, subscribe, give me a comment so I know I'm, that I'm doing okay. If you guys have any suggestions, please let me know. Thank you.